I tried. All right, this is not the video I wanted to be making today. We're at AutoZone, not because we're buying something, but because we need to run our code. Just pop the little plate off. Uh, we got to check engine light. You start up the car, all the lights flash on, then they go away slowly, but the check engine light stays. There's this really weird ticking sound that I thought was under the car. Then I thought it was on the passenger side. But today it was right here. And so yesterday the check engine light flashed and the throttle was kind of weird. But then today the throttles, it, it was a little weird, but the ticking got really bad and then suddenly it threw a code. So we're gonna run the ECU, see what the code's throwing and I'll get back with y'all. Again, not the video I wanted to be making today. I remember making this exact same video not too long ago. Ran the code, cylinder misfiring, cylinder two is misfiring. I said this, I did this whole AutoZone thing, the whole ticking thing, the Veloster's broken, engine's dead, whatever. I got all four spark plugs replaced, then I got all four um, coil packs replaced on the spark plugs. So the entire spark side was good. Started running normally again, then I get this ticking again, I get a check engine light flashing yesterday, and then more ticking, weird throttle. It's definitely better than it was when it broke last time. Um, but yeah, run the code again, cylinder misfiring, and I was like, the only thing, I, I just replaced, literally a month ago, maybe two months ago, at the most, I replaced all four spark plugs and all four coil packs, so it has to be a fuel injector, which are, are not cheap. And I already dumped like $1,000 into the last repair to get all the spark plugs done. Spark plugs aren't that much. It's the boots, the uh, the coil packs are what are expensive. They're like $200 a piece. But anyway, I'm gonna take this home, limp the car home, and then, um, yeah, we'll make a decision on what we do from there. This is very frustrating. This video was supposed to be an unboxing video because I ordered some parts for this car and um, they arrived. I got a notification while I was at school that they arrived. So we'll still do that whole unboxing. I also got another thing from Apple because like I talked about in the last video, I'm finally an Apple boy now, switched over, iPhone 12 Pro. So, um, yeah. Now this right here is more of the video I actually wanted to make. I got some stuff that came in. We were gonna look at it, but now I have to go take my car to get fixed. I'm gonna try and run it over to this place really quickly and see if they can get me in and go ahead and get it fixed. Hopefully, because if it is just a clogged injector or a broken injector, hopefully that's a pretty easy fix. I'm not sure, we'll take it though. All right. We'll get you an update on the car in a little bit. I took it to the place. There's a story. It costs a lot of money. We'll see what we're doing. But for now, we have four packages right here, and we're going to open them. We got All right, we'll just go one at a time with it. This is very simple. These are some black, um, I believe they're aluminum. Uh, I had these on the Mustang, too. They are black aluminum, a little bit nicer tire caps. Um... This is a pack of uh, 12. It was like six bucks or something like that on Amazon. I was like, sure, I'll grab that. They're cheap. They, they look nicer than the ones that I have on there right now. And uh, again, it was a pack of 12. This will last me my next three cars, or I can replace some or put some on a friend's car. I don't know, but they were, uh, they were pretty cheap. This, this I don't know what it is. I don't think I know what it is. Actually, these are not the same company. Okay, I think I know what this is, but a straight up aluminum box. Can you put the part in an aluminum box? Yes, I think that this is a piece of carbon fiber. It is in fact a piece of carbon fiber. That's pretty sick. Okay, it comes in this little tin, but why did I close it again when I only have one hand? Now, this one may fit, it may not, and if it doesn't, I'll have to get another one, but I'm hoping it will. Ooh. A little bit of uh, carbon fiber for my key fob. I was gonna get one of these for the Mustang key, and I never did, and so I thought that this was one small little mod that I could do to the Veloster that I wanted to do to the Mustang, which is just a carbon fiber case. Here it is, in a silver on one side, gold on the other side packaging. Never really seen anything like it. Just set this like that. And they are also something I wanted to get for the Mustang. Again, something not important at all. 
These just go at the bottom of your cup holders and they say Hyundai and it's paint to sample. Um, so this outer rim is the same gray as my car. Or at least pretty freaking close. And they're rubber, so um, drinks will be held a little better. Just nice little detail thing for the inside of the car. Um, yeah. I did some things on the inside of the Mustang. I did the paddle shifters. I did um, a little flip switch cap thing. I did some lights on the inside. That came later. My sister actually got me that kit and then I installed it. So the only thing that I've done to the inside of the Veloster, or will have done, is these two little um, cup holders. These are going on the outside. This is going on my key. So yeah, these are all of the Veloster mods so far. The last mod for the Veloster, again, all of this is super small stuff. The one that's still in its way is also for the interior. So yeah. And the last thing, like I said, it's for the iPhone. In the last video, I got the iPhone 12 Pro. Wonderful phone, love it. I've had it for a week, maybe two weeks now. It's been fantastic. So to become a full, real Apple boy, I had to uh, order from Apple. Of course, I had to get me some AirPods. These are AirPods 2. They're not really AirPods 2, it's just AirPods with wireless charging case. So the light got moved to the outside and they can be charged wirelessly now. So I can either plug them in or charge them wirelessly. That's the only thing they changed about AirPods 2. 2. Again, not really 2. I'll show y'all what I have y'all set on in a little bit, but uh, it's kind of funny. This is really funny to record in front of. But anyway, this, uh, this is before the pull tab, so we actually do get to use a knife. Iron by Apple in California. Alright, phone. AirPods. I think you just open them. Oh. Okay, that's sick. Why don't more companies do this? Connect. The case is only at 15%. That's a rip. The AirPods are at 86. Does it show that to me every time I open them? Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this boy's broken. <laughs> kind of a rip. Okay. Well, we got this stuff right here. We might as well go ahead and do it all. There we go. Little Hyundai um, rubber pad things. And like I said, these match the paint color. I won't have an easy way of showing you that. So, just kind of... Pop it in there like that. Push it in. Did it make a difference? Not really. Is it here now? Mm, yeah. We got these two carbon fiber pieces, which we're going to install on this. So I think that they just, yeah. Okay. Back plate goes over like that. Then does this just... Yeah, it just slots together. Oh, that's it. That's all it took. I like it. I mean, the, it's a little chunkier. I'll have to get used to it, but I mean, it's carbon fiber. Again. I activated my car alarm. I'm an idiot. The door locked and I uh, opened it from the inside. I'm stupid! <laughs> Alright, so you can see what these look like now. They are just little pieces of uh, machined aluminum with a little rubber gasket on the inside and they just look a little better than this. Will you ever really notice it? Probably not. But uh, if you ever decide to look at my tire stem caps, you will notice that they are better than normal. There you go. Little black aluminum thing. Short install of all of the mods and stuff. Now I gotta get the other stuff. And yes, one of the mods was on the key. And yes, I do have more mods for this car. And yes, I may... Why would Hyundai put a button on here for when the keys close? Oh, it does work, never mind. 
Yes, I do have more internal mods for this car. And, um, well, yeah. But at the same time, this car's not running right now. So, yeah. All right. So, um, the Veloster has been through some stuff. Basically, so it's a four cylinder engine. That means that there's four spark plugs slash, uh, coils. So there's four wires that have to go to each, and there's a wiring harness that delivers power to all four of those via those um, wires. The wires are absolutely destroyed. Like, they've been duct taped, electrical taped back together. They've been, like, hot glue, like, just glue all over them. Like, they're gross. Um, that the previous owner must have done. So, basically, Hyundai on the Veloster, for whatever reason, didn't make that portion just for the spark plugs removable from the harness meaning that to remove those four wires that go to the four cylinders you have to remove the entire system or the entire um you have to remove the entire wiring harness from the entire vehicle and replace it which is four thousand dollars which the car is not worth well the car is worth more than $4,000. It's not worth spending $4,000 on the car to do that. So what they're having me do is I bought a portion of a wiring harness that's also made by Hyundai for a different car. It should have the same ports that plug into the actual um, spark plugs or into the uh, coil packs. So what they're going to do is they're going to cut the um, normal, the large wiring harness that goes throughout the whole vehicle, and then cut these little parts of the small wiring harness to just get the part that they need to go from the cylinder to the main wiring harness, and then re-solder that for all four. So we'll see what happens. We're going to try and make it happen. If that doesn't work, then, I mean, there really aren't any plans besides that because I'm not spending four grand on this. So I'm going to be without a car for a little bit. I'm probably going to drive my dad's car if I need a car, otherwise just figure out a different way to get places. But anyway, yeah, this is the second time that the Veloster's engine has died, and um, it's about, it's it's the same thing. Cylinder misfire. It's, it's great. Alright, well the Veloster is still dead. Alright, don't know what that was about. So, we are in my dad's Honda Accord, and uh, yeah, fun stuff. So anyways, um, hope you're enjoying the video so far. And we're off again. Honda Accord. <laughs> new morning, new car. Well anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, that is it for today's video. I did get the part um, that we're going to try and see if it works. Um, I have it. So in the next video, we will take the car to the shop and try and fix it, and uh, maybe some other stuff, uh, along with hopefully the last mod for the interior will come, and we'll go ahead and show that. Not really sure when that's coming, so it's on order, it's coming, but not really sure when. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, really bummed out that my car is broken again, but hopefully we will fix it again, and it will be great. And yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video, it helps me out a ton, you have no idea how much it helps me out. And while you're already down there, go ahead and subscribe, it is free and you can change your mind at any time. But yeah, that's it from me, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video, peace.